All right, first one we got by James Calkins. This is a comic page, and this, I think, is his first page he has colored. And so he wanted some help on the coloring. So let's see. The first thing I think when I see this is it, everything looks pretty muddy. And um, that's always a thing that people struggle with when they're first doing colors is their colors look muddy. So I would just suggest like isolating different areas, characters, foreground, background, sand, sky, and just try to push them towards a color palette. Um, I usually use the hue saturation to, to do this. And I'm just playing with, you know, what, what does the sky look like? A vibrant night sky is kind of bluish. The sand is a little lighter, you know, has a little bit more of a, the sand color in it. Uh, as far as the rain goes, you can just hit it up, you know, put a lot of rain in there, hit it up in just little spots um, in detail. And you'll usually be really good with that, especially where there's like a, a hard light source like lightning, you can put a lot of rain in that area and you um, have pretty successful results. So the one thing I'm seeing here though that's a problem not with color but with the art is, is the tangents. You can see how the ground plane is tangenting with his hat point and that's right where the lightning strikes the ground as well. So that place is just a problem. So you want to move the horizon line, the sand line, or his hat line, or the lightning line, or all of them. And so I'm just kind of changing the, the lightning shape now. Uh, now I'm just trying to add a little bit of a, a night sky light source on all these guys. Um, and here's a before and after. Uh, I, I think it's a little bit more successful. It's not definitely near as muddy. I wish I had a little bit more time to work on the characters because I still feel like they're a little too dark. But anyway, that's all I got for that one. Thanks for submitting it. This next one here is The Pale Comic. You can find it at palecomic.com, art by Jay Fabrez. Um, she has a beautiful style already. It's really strong already. So there's not really much I would actually suggest. I wouldn't even suggest anything unless it was submitted for a critique. So if there is something I would do, it'd probably be add a little bit more atmosphere to separate foreground, background, um, push the foreground and the to the darks here and pop them a little bit by making them more contrasty, pushing the darks in the foreground bottom panel and maybe even lightening this uh, background around the dog, maybe adding some action lines here to kind of emphasize his surprise. Uh, maybe just push a little bit more lights into that middle panel background as well right here and uh, to match the top. And I think that's all I would really do just to kind of kind of push the, the contrasts of things and the, uh, you know, but it's already great. Good job on this comic. Um, so next one is by Jack Dreger. He sent me a, a looks like concept design, a character design of uh, Afro Dude. And I think the, the biggest weakness here is a little bit of the structure underneath it all. So I just put a little, little piece of white paper over top of this and I'm just kind of drawing. And just, I'm thinking in the style that you uh, have, Jack, and I, I'm trying to just uh, think of it um, with a little bit more structure though. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to favor the way you'd probably draw it, but um, with a little bit more uh, figuring out the bones and the skeleton and the ribs and all that stuff and making the arms uh, have a little bit more of a shape, even though they're just bony. Um, maybe the feet, you know, just really really work out those shapes of, of the structure underneath. And I'm pretty sloppy. I mean, it's not like my shapes are perfect or ideal or anything. The head is great. I mean, the face is great, I think. Um, and maybe just push this um, afro a little bit more as far as the, uh, the shape, like just really try to define how that shape is so if it's turned in 3d space you would know what it looks like and other than that I, I think you have a pretty cool design already so good job man all right this next one is by hannah this is a comic page and it's actually beautifully colored i really like the coloring sensibilities and all that stuff really neat stuff there's a couple things though that stand out to me this uh, character laying here is flat i didn't even realize at first read that this was a character and so i would say um just try to try to pop that character out. Put some blacks in there, some contrast, some more shape into the cloth. Uh, toes on the feet and hand. You know, make it understandable that this is what it is because you're not given very much information, and you don't want people to sit there and miss it or have to study it to figure out what this is. You want it to see that it's this girl's mom, 
you know, laying there at first read, and it's scary. So I lowered the opacity on the shadow. Um, other thing is just structure. There's there's a little bit of a lack of structure in some of these things. And even though my structure is not perfect here, um, like her legs and her hand, it just feels it doesn't feel quite like real even though your lighting is is a lot more real I, I beefed it up with a nice glow but um great job this is just a little bit of a before and after here to just see the difference um i'm not saying that the shape of this character laying on the ground is perfect but uh you i think you get the point of what i'm uh suggesting to do all right and that's all i got for that one good job though this is beautiful coloring keep it up this was by Charlena MSN. I drew this when I was 22 and it was supposed to be a guy coming alive from a piece of art out of a black sheet of paper with a lot of ink. At the time I had a very hard time drawing the lines in the black paper at the right angle. I was trying to make it look slanted. Thank you. All right, let's get on this and see what we can do. So I think the first thing I would say would be uh, the, the angles of this paper are kind of, they're, they're very difficult to see. So already it already feels like it's a little bit more slanted. Let's work on his expression too. I think we need to get him a little bit more angry and more like, ah, like he's, he's really gritting. So let's get that right. And then let's work on his, the way that the black connects to the paper. And um, it just feels, it doesn't quite feel like he's pushing out of the page. The expression feels a little bit off. So I'm going to try to work on just how it feels like he's stretching out of the page, trying some things, uh, erasing them some things. Hopefully that helps. I um, I I think it's a it was a good start, a good um, a good attempt, and that's that's what I got for you. Thanks for submitting your your work. This is by Solomon. All right, so Solomon has a kind of Garden of Eden type drawing and the thing I see the most with this is just the busyness and it's great you have all this detail in there Solomon and it's it, it's all these characters doing all this stuff and it's great but you need to kind of separate them out and uh, refine some of them make some like thicker lines on them some line weights maybe on foreground characters on things that really need to stand out and so I just kind of dialed the color of these foreground characters a little bit different from the background characters so they pop out I also put some outlines around them I'm trying to refine the 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 hair shape give this main uh, Eve girl uh, a little bit more contrast so people could see her and connect with her quicker. I also made the angle of her eyes looking down towards the apple. I beefed up the, the contrast of the apple, the saturation, so that it's obvious that this is a highlight that she's looking at. Um, and then I need to just figure out how to separate some of these background pieces now. Uh, like So I'm taking all of the, the snake character um, and I'm going to turn it all red and just play with that just just as a, a kind of a, a reddish and maybe even emphasize the red on the apple a little bit more too and then let's just take all these background characters I guess and we'll push them all kind of green because um, there's just a lot of stuff going on there and it's kind of confusing having the upside down characters in the trees because the I know you're trying to just put all these characters in there but um, it does confuse things a little bit um, and so I also isolated the characters of the main two Adam and Eve so there you go she's getting lured by this um, and then you still have the problem of the title the title blends in it's there's too much detail cluttering the title you have this neat little compass thing but but it doesn't I can't I don't even know what it says and so that's the problem um, you have upside down elements in the cover which make it even more confusing um, your goal is to group things together, make them clear, uh, make the most important things be the most contrasty or the most detailed or the most bold lines or something. Something clear, most striking colors like the red or the apple. Um, those are all important things. You just have a lot of stuff going on. So here we got a before and an after. So, and this is pretty quick, you know, it's pretty sloppy what I've done, but it's just giving you new things to think about. All right, we got another one here from Mike Pouch. All right, this one's really cool. 
I I had a little trouble deciding how I even wanted to go forward with it because I love your textures and everything. Um, and just the drawing, it's really creepy. Um, but I just tried to add a little bit more um, uh, separation between the background and the foreground. I was working with the foreground plane versus the background plane to kind of make it tie together with the background. So I put some rocks that he stepped, the creature stepping down on. I also played with the foreground elements to kind of help, help them lead your eye into the characters and into the scene a little bit more. The way you had it kind of... Um, it, it was more of a distraction. It was hard to tell what was going on with that foreground, what it was, if it even was an element or just the, I don't know. And so I just added a little bit more shadow, tried to make the little creature glowing on his shoulder. And um, uh, I made the, the, the bad guy a little bigger too and, and tried to angle him towards our hero. So, so this is the before and after. Before, after. You tell me if it's better. I don't know. I do like your textures. I do like your painted sky textures. I do love the way you finished off all your textures and everything. So, but I think just compositionally. I think mainly just compositionally was the, the biggest uh, problem. 